Well, hey everybody, Rhino here, and this is my Crown Zenith Master Collection from the Pokemon Trading Card Game. I have every single card in this set in here, all the reverses, all the main cards, all the art cards, all the Galarian galleries, every single card. We're going to show them off to you today in a quick binder video. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the history of my channel and how it connects to Crown Zenith, so come along with me. Let's take a look. So here it is. This is my Crown Zenith Master Set Binder. It is a complete master set here, and anybody who's a longtime fan of the channel knows that Crown Zenith is probably my favorite set. Um, I have a video, one of my earliest videos, back on August 10th of 2023. It's me opening a Morpico V Union box and getting nothing but hit cards. Uh, Crown Zenith has the Galarian Gallery, which means that a lot of packs have a second chance of having a hit in there. They also had um, holographic energies, things like that. So it was just constant hits the whole time, and I was hooked. On Crown Zenith after that point. Now don't go back and watch that video, it's pretty awful and I'm not very entertaining in it, but um, from that moment on, Crown Zenith was kind of my jam and I just went for it. That was my first like big uh, pack opening sessions on the channel was just me going for Crown Zenith. Now there's not going to be too much exciting on these first few pages of this master set, but as I kind of go through and show you, uh, this is a total complete master set. I have all of the reverses, as well. Uh, I've got all the promos, everything that goes with uh, Crown Zenith. Now, this binder here, I was looking it up on uh, TCG Player. This binder complete with all the cards in it, the cards in it are worth about $1,000 altogether. So um, that's really cool uh, to be able to say that I have a $1,000 card binder right now. Um, looking at this page, I've got a Radiant Charizard here. And if you're a fan of the current game, like if you play uh, the trading card game online or if you go to tournaments, you'll notice that Radiant Charizard is still one of those cards that is very much being used. Excited Heart is a great ability. It basically means that uh, every prize card your opponent has taken, this guy's attack needs one less energy. So if your opponent's gotten like four or five prize cards gone, you can just use Combustion blast every other turn and have it cost you practically nothing so it's a great playable card it's still being used today um not too much exciting on these other pages but it is nice to just see all the cards kind of laid out so here you can see the rotom and the rotom v star down in the corner a rotom v star's got a neat little ability conversion star lets you discard any number of cards from your hand and draw that many back so it's a good way to like exchange your hand or if you want to try to get cards in your discard pile uh, Zero Aura V-Star, also a very nice card. Um, very playable cards that are in here. A lot of very popular cards. Um, they've got... Crown Zenith was kind of the, the, the swan song, the love letter to uh, the Sword and Shield era of cards. So you've just got some really wonderful and fantastic card artwork. You've got some great abilities. Um, yeah, it's just... It, it, it was the, the wrapping up of the Sword and Shield era. And so... You know, they were getting ready to do Scarlet and Violet packs and things like that. And nowadays, Crown Zenith is, I, I, I would venture to say it's even more popular now than it was when it first came out. Um, people are buying up the packs left and right. I've been seeing lots of, like, kids at, uh, at trade shows and stuff trying to open um, packs of Crown Zenith. Obviously, they're not opening it for some of the basic cards that you're seeing here even though it is really cool to see, like, you know, you've got B here with the signature and things like that. Like, those kind of cards are still really cool. But it's the art cards that everybody's going for, because there are a lot of really wonderful, wonderful art cards in this set. Now, looking at the art cards on just this page, you've got three here at the bottom that are worth a few bucks. Friends in Hisui and Friends in Sinnoh are both worth a little over $5, but Alessa Sparkle is worth about $18 by itself. So, this is an awesome card, being able to have this, and we're not even into, like, Galarian Gallery, where the real money is. Now, there's a couple others here. You've got, you know, Volo and Professor's Research up in the corner, and they're all right. I mean, not worth a ton, but, um, you know, they're all right. And then you've got to be careful, because they also do have these holographic energies. And I realized, uh, as I was beginning to collect this and put cards into binders, I was like, oh... I thought I had all the energies. No, it turns out there's actually reverse uh, holographic energies as well. Uh, you have to look for the little crown zenith uh, symbol in the corner to make sure that they're actually the crown zenith energies. So, you know, that was just kind of an interesting little twist on collecting for this set. 
We're starting to get into the art cards here, but the last card in the proper set was this Pikachu right here. The thing about this Pikachu is I have probably in my lifetime had about eight of these Pikachu cards. And right now they're going for about $11. So this was a really easy card for me to pull. I'm not sure if that's still the case for Crown Zenith today, but uh, if you are collecting for Crown, keep an eye out for those Pikachus. It's a nice value on a good card. Now all the rest of the cards that you're gonna see here are part of the Galarian Gallery. That's just a trainer gallery, uh, like the same ones that they had in Astral and Brilliant and Lost Origin and Silver Tempest, um, but it just comes under another name. The other issue is that there's over 70 cards in this Galarian Gallery, and they take the place of a uh, reverse holographic card. So in order to get these, you have to open 70 packs and have the reverses be replaced by these. Obviously, I opened way more than 70. I ended up having to buy a couple of these just because I was not able to find them myself. But um, there are some really awesome cards in here. The artwork is incredible on these, too. Um, you know, looking at the Deoxys here, that's a really nice one. Electivire is on this side, and then I think um, there's Magmortar with Electivire back on the other side. So those two are buddies, and you can see them reflected in the cards there. Um, you've got your Bibarel over here in the corner. Let me move the binder over. This is an incredibly playable Bibarel. I love seeing this guy. Industrial Incisors lets you just draw TF5 cards in your hand. So if you're somebody who's constantly playing down cards, then, you know, part with your turning, but like, and I'm going to use Industrial Incisors to refill my hand back up to five cards. You can even get multiple Bibarel out there and use that uh, move multiple times. It's a sweet move. And then you've got these guys here. This page is super cool because this is a... Um, an artistic design. You can see the nine cards on this page and how they make one big image. So, um, you know, you've got Paris, Bucciana, and Mareep on the bottom. Then in the middle, it's Bidoof, Pikachu, and Turtwig. They're kind of like standing on, on a hillside. Pikachu's jumping in the middle. And then in the air, you've got Riolu jumping in the trees, Dusko floating, and then Swablu kind of swooping in from the sky. So these nine cards, when you put them together, make kind of one big, cool image. It was awesome to see Crown Zenith be able to pull off something like that with their artwork. After these nine, though, this is where we start to get to the cards that are worth a bit of money here. For example, in this page alone, we have a $40 Leafeon, a $26 Entei, this goofy looking little Simiseer is worth seven bucks, but then you've got Suicune here at 27, Luminion is at uh, 11, You've got the Glaceon, which is worth 35, the Raikou at 23 and a half. Uh, this Zera Aura V Max is worth about seven. And then the V Star is worth about 10 right now. So, I mean, this is a great page of cards. Crown Zenith is such a good set just uh, for both collectors and investors because you can make some pretty good money reselling Crown Zenith cards. Then we get to this page. And to start off, I want to show this Mewtwo. Now, this is a pretty incredible Mewtwo V-Star card. It's worth $70 here, and you can see it's got a really cool scene of Mewtwo facing off against Charizard. Now, the Mewtwo move star raid is pretty cool. It does 120 damage to each Pokemon V that your opponent has. So, I mean, that's an obviously very powerful move. But what I love about this is that this card has its artwork reflected in a promotional card. Now, in the Japanese release, this was actually a, a standard card, but in the American and International, this is a promotional card. But you can notice that it's got the opposite scene. Charizard is flying in the air with Mewtwo down on the ground preparing his attack. Now, if you look, these are actually made by two different artists as well. So it's kind of cool to see these two different cards, the same scene reflected in two different angles. And if you look really closely, you can see a Tangrowth there. He's kind of hanging out in the background in here. You can see that same tang growth kind of right there underneath the word evolves from Charizard. And so it's just, it's the same scene from two different angles. Uh, this is like a, a $15 card, but this one, this card's worth 70. So I'm going to put him back in here, but that's, um, I just wanted to show that off because I always thought that that Mewtwo V-Star was a really cool card. Now, beyond that, you have a few other really interesting cards here. You've got our Deoxys V-Star. It's only worth about $15. Still a nice-looking card. Um, the V-Max is actually worth a little more than the V-Star is. You can see how this one's the defense mode, and this one is the uh, the, is it the speed mode for Deoxys. It's 
kind of cool to see how they're representing those in those two different cards. You also have uh, your Darkrai V-Star. You've got your Hisuian Samurats. You get to some really cool looking artistic cards. I am just such a big fan of this Regigigas over here. Let's see if I can bring it in a little bit more. It's just such a classic and kind of old sepia toned card over here. The, uh, the Regigigas V-Star. I like the look of it. I like how it, it's, it's very old school. And then the same thing with the Hisuian Zoro arc. This is very like classic Japanese artwork on here. And just, it's cool to look at. I don't think I'd ever actually play it though. I'd be worried about messing it up. There's a few other neat cards in here, but um, I've got to show off the big ones. So the last page here, we get to some of our biggest cards. These cards right here at the end, they also, like with that page of the nine, uh, like the, the Puchiena and things like that, they make a design. But this one, with the Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, and Arceus, those four cards, when you put them together, make a really cool scene of Giratina deep in the valley, Arceus in the middle, and then Palkia and Dialga kind of climbing a hillside to see Arceus at the top of the mountain. Those four cards as well, when I'm looking up their value here, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm flabbergasted here because altogether these four cards are worth about $260, $270 altogether. So, you know, when we talk about this binder being worth a thousand, this right here is about a quarter to a third of that value. So it's just very, very neat to see that. So that wraps up my Crown Zenith binder now. This was, uh, besides Pokemon Go, which was the first set I completed, this was the first set that I actually went, hunted down the cards, and had and finished on my own. When we looked at those final four cards, uh, the only one that I actually pulled myself was the, the Palkia here. These three I ended up trading for. So I traded for the Arceus and Ant Giratina, I believe in order to get those, I traded one of my Glaceons from Evolving Skies, and I got that and a couple other cards for it. And then the, the Dialga, I think I bought with cash later on when I saw that it showed up in a shop. But uh, yeah, anyway, that is my Crown Zenith Binder. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at it with me and going down memory lane with me. If you did, please go ahead and uh, you know leave a comment down below. Let me know. And Rhino, that was a really cool binder. Thanks for sharing it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It really does help support the channel and really goes a long way towards helping the channel grow. If you want to help and support the channel in other ways, you can check the description down below where you'll see a link to my Streamlabs tip jar as well as a link to my Patreon. You can be like these wonderful patrons here and help support the channel in that way. Any money that does get donated to the channel goes directly into buying more booster packs and things that the channel needs. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Rhino, out.